you guys need to back to Australia. Well, there's Australia Part 5 here. And that's the first thing here from Australia. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you're fine. So at the, last, at the end of the last video, I'm starting into this heavy, like kind of heavier topic about like gaming and, and blindness and, 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 and shit, you know. My channel, what I'm based around. And so what I want to come out and say it, when it comes to being a most people don't understand just how hard it is for a couple reasons. One, think about it this way, okay? Being blind, I cannot see the game. I can't see menus, I can't see characters, nothing. And so playing a game like Call of Duty, yes, it's a very easy game. It's very easy to pick up and play. It's, it's Call of Duty. Like, everybody knows how to play it, more or less, okay? It is... It is difficult to play with that vision. Even for a basic game of Call of Duty, I managed to pull it off. I'm like Prestige 2 in multiplayer in Black Ops 3, I'm like Prestige 4 in Zombies, I'm like Prestige 1 in Black Ops 2. You know, I'm doing this. You know, like, to my knowledge, I don't, all the blind gamers I've ever heard of who play Black Ops 3 2, no one's Prestige. You know, at least not as high as me. I think it's oh, one dude, there's nobody that's Prestige. I mean,. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's probably true. You're probably the only blind gamer to ever prestige. Maybe not the only one, but at least in I know that. I be like that, or some of the other ones, maybe. I'm not sure. It might be a. But the thing is, is I play. Oh, I for a couple of years. One, I grew up before I lost my vision. I don't see why I should change. So I play games. They're fun. On the flip side of that, it's a sense of accomplishment, a sense of pride for me because think about it this way. I trying to get a job as a blind person in the world, it's a pain in the fucking ass. With or without a degree, with or without a diploma, it is damn near possible simply because of her blindness simple, you know any disability for that matter instantly makes you like oh you're inferior to the other candidates and shit and so if you're trying to get a job it's a pain in the ass in the ass if you don't have the right tech like everything's a pain in the ass it's still a pain in the ass blood fuck for example the other night I streamed Bloodborne okay Bloodborne pretty fun. the little bit I is it's a hard game even with vision. Damn near possible. I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, and hell even Grand Theft Auto, like Grand Theft Auto, for example. I have fun with the game for like 20, 30 minutes before I get bored because it's simply because I just get bored with it for one and for two it's just because it's not as it's not very this it's not very blind friendly for GTA isn't it, at least because here's the thing think about it this way GTA is sound design it, it's 3D surround sound so you can tell what's in front of the room. but it's not as sound design as like Call of Duty like all sound design is really well designed Battlefield really well designed like the first person shooters are easy to design good sounds okay third person not so much person the, the different things and so it's you know a little wonky but being blind and trying to play the game or being blind trying to play the game knowing just how hard it really is to, pl to try and do this every day I'm not saying that I'm forcing myself to play because I enjoy games I love video games they're, they're awesome they're, they're a lot of fun to play but there are those times, you know, where I just feel defeated because of my blindness, because I can't see the game, and I'm, for example, Pokemon War 2, I did pretty good, went 10 and 7, okay, next match, went 0 and freaking 20, and it's, it's things like that that demoralize you, because, like, you know you're capable of doing good, 
in a game, and you know your blindness is partially why you do bad sometimes. And it's just it's demoralizing for one thing, and it's just it's hard to do it, and especially especially when you get negative reinforcement or negative uh, uh, backlash or anything. So I'm playing Hardpoint on War Two the other day. I was, just, I was just, I was trying to have fun. You know? People get the hard point, do whatever. Match ends, get a message. You're fucking trash, ha 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 ha. And I laughed because my place is red, ha 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 ha. It was pretty damn funny. But <laughs> the thing is, is like, why are you gonna take the time out of your day to type a message saying you're fucking trash, ha ha ha, when you could have easily just said, like, ask, like, hey. Did you just get the like? Try and convert, converse with somebody rather than instantly. Oh, you're terrible or you're trash. Rather than do that, why not be like, hey? Like instantly trash. Yeah, like here's the thing, is I, because of my experiences of being blind and losing my vision and going through my life, my life I've been through, I would not. If I was in a game with Strilo, okay, I can't see him, of course. But if I was in a brand new game with Strilo, I never met his ass before, and say he and I were. And he was doing you rather poor. I wouldn't just be like, oh, you're fucking terrible. I was like, like, did you, I'd ask him, like, did you just get, really get the game? Do you want any tips or anything? I wouldn't be a fucking dick. Because one, I've learned my, I've learned from my past and my shit to not be an asshole. Um, huh? You're still on Examples, but the point of all this is that you guys might subscribe to my channel, you guys might watch this, so I don't know who watches it, but you guys will never really understand just how hard it is to do this shit. What it took for me to get to Prestige in World War II, from the day World War II came out, and I bought it, I downloaded it, and I started playing, from that day to like two weeks ago, midstream, Strilo from the last from this proceed. That took what three months, three and a half months, four, almost four. Yeah. Because I'm in a disadvantage. I just don't know how hard it was for me to do that because I think this way. on average per match, I get less experience points. Could I get less kills and less objectives and shit like that, right? And less headshots and less metal, this and that. And so on average, I'll get less, and so it takes sometimes twice to three times as long for me to level up one level for, for you guys. One level for you guys might be, or one for me might be like two or three you guys. But more than how well you guys do. It, that's usually how it is. And it was hard for me to keep pushing myself and pushing and pushing and pushing to, to play World War II and get that first prestige. Because, not because I hated the game, because I love World War II. It's a fun game. I enjoy it, but it's because my blindness put me at such a major disadvantage that it demoralized me when I did poorly and didn't level up or, or something like that. And it just it was just it was hard. The Black Ops Three is the same issue. Just because I keep hitting the fucking fresh start button, I hate the fresh start. I hate fresh start. I would hate it forever because if I didn't hit fresh start the first time, on Black Ops Three is on, I would have been. Probably level 700 something. Black Ops 3 zombies. Almost prestige. Well, I mean, Master Prestige is like level 700 something. Like, it. Like, just to deal with real life, being blind in a sighted world is a challenge. And being blind in a, in a game, in a video game, is a challenge. You know, admittedly less so, of course, but it still is. And that's one thing. I uh, I may make it look easy and look fun, you know, look like a good challenge, but it's not a good one. It's not a really good challenge. It's not really a bad one either. It's just a it's just a challenge, you know. And you know, people tell me it's like, oh, it's pretty good for a blind guy. I'm like, yeah, for a blind guy. If I had my vision, I'd be stomping kids. Trust me, dude. You know. <laughs> 
But it's like, here, like, think about it this way, dude. Like, like, here, like, think about it this way. Is it hard for me to play with my video? For one part, it's easy, but that's the most hard. The hardest part for me, personally, the hardest part is knowing what I used to be able to do. Not just in game, but in real life. I hey, used to. I mean, TJ, you may get to that point again, dude. I, I mean, I might be able. If I played as good as I used to, only through sound, shit, dude, I better be on a fucking pro team. You know. But. Okay, but you know what I mean, though. Just, just forget it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, though. Think about it. So is <laughs> like it's hard. It really is for me to to remember what I used to be able to see in real life, in game. What you in game? Fuck in game. Black Ops Two. I remember this. My best game I did: fifty kills, six deaths, hijack domination. I used the M48 with the EOTech site and FMJ. With a TAC 45 as a secondary and a fucking air grenade. I did that with one with one working eye, and then that I had vision. It was whatever. It was it was decent vision, but I still did it. And that's the hardest part for me is I used to be able to stomp motherfuckers in Call of Duty in any game I played. I was naturally good at it. Yeah, I. In the age of trollers. Yeah. But. Shit, we're, we're literally. That's kind of what messes it all up. If you could play like a legit good ass match of Black Ops 2 and just break bases all day, but now look at that. You look a different than people. Now you got booster jumps. Makes it like you can't have them to the ground. You have to change your style of play. Well, I mean, of course, World War 2, you have it on the ground now. Black Ops 4, you might have a little bit of advanced movement, but I don't think they're gonna. I don't think Black Ops 4 will have advanced boosters or anything, because it'll be set in like two years from now. You really think two years from now we're gonna have fucking jetpacks and shit? No. But anyway, I just haven't. I really haven't had like a a true like just just a random video just talking about like true shit when it comes to blindness and what. It's at least you know, some in, in real life. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you some subscribers watch this, maybe they don't. Whether they do or don't, I'm still gonna put it out there for the hell of it. But I mean you, you control what comes in and what comes out. Yeah, I know. I control I control what I That's that's one thing I thought of. I've, I've thought about changing my fucking account name on YouTube again. I've honestly thought about just changing it to TJ the Blind Game. Just that simple. The Punk. You already are the Blind Game. No, I know. But what I mean is, it's TJ Punk the Blind Gamer, and it it kind of like why is there a Punk weird that like breaks the flow. Of the freaking channel name, I don't know why. <laughs> Cause it's like, would you ever say blind gamer or TJ the blind gamer? I'd say TJ TJ the blind gamer is smoother and faster. I don't know. Huh? It's short and simple. Yeah, it's just TJ the blind gamer. Yeah. Yeah. The like the whole, it was like a fucking paragraph. No no no. It was TJ is a blind Call of Duty player and I'm like, I regret doing this. <laughs> Bro, like, like, TJ, like, 40 years from now, they'll be like, fuck, he's so used to punk. What was the 
biggest regret that you ever had. Name me, name me, name me, my fucking name is paragraph long. It's like, what was the, what was the most proud moment? Did you even like? I don't, I don't remember why I did that, but like they asked me twenty years from now. So, TJ, what was the biggest accomplishment you would say in your YouTube career? I would say being a blind gamer and being as successful as I was, even though it wasn't much, but it's still my own. I worked for this shit. Damn it. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a new YouTube name. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. TJ, TJ Bunk. Really? Bunk? Yeah, we're listening to TJ Bunk. 98. The blind Call of Duty game. Featuring Strylo, who also sucks. Strylo, um, dude, you should. You, if you ever do YouTube again, like start doing videos again, I vote change your name from Dark Strylo to Strylo sucks. XX Strylo sucks XX <laughs> or whatever you have it is. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna post blogs. Like just be like, yo, my fuck. <laughs> Since I don't upload game anymore, it's games. Dude, just, 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 just do vlogs, bro. I mean, I'm kind of on my phone all day. I'm, I'm on my phone all day, besides the game. And the reason I haven't been online is because I don't have my bus right now. So there's no point in uploading gameplay. Because I haven't been able to play any new games. Oh, that reminds me. Black Ops 3 is going to be new content. Oh yeah, it is. Cause it has the new sniper yeah. rifle, the new map, and that reminds me. Did you have? Have you ever? Uh, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get in my uh my plus maybe in days, maybe a day. And yeah. I'm gonna see if I can upload maybe some infected gameplay. We can, if we want to play infected together. What we were gonna have to do is we're gonna have to like hit find a game at the same exact time. What me and Jack had to do because you can't do infected with more than one player in your party because it's it's technically free for all. Which is kind of stupid, but anyway. So I hope you guys did. And I don't know if you really enjoyed this because it was really just a discussion video, but no. that was random. But anyway, if you guys didn't, like enjoy this or just just like this, like. Then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hello. Hey, Eli. And Eli is here, and I'm ending the video at the same time. You know what, Eli? Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.